question for you. The, the, what really kept sitting with me as I was thinking about the conversation here is durability in terms of you know, personal durability because we're basketball trainers. We want to actually be out there and be able to move. And some of us sit at the desk all day, which I, I'm on an ergonomic mount right now because I usually do sit down. But some of us also want to be able to play and we need to be efficient and durable for our business side as well. So the first question is, how can this also help out with us basketball trainers on the business side by being durable? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I would say from a business standpoint, like everything is all around longevity, right? Like I don't think anybody really wants to run a thriving business for five years or for 10 years, you know, God willing, you know, we're able to do what we love to do for 30, 40, 50 years, really for however long we decide we want to and not something or someone telling us that we have to stop for whatever reason. So I think you kind of already hit it on the head there. Like, as basketball trainers, right? Like, um, you know, we are expecting, and I say we, like, I don't necessarily train people from a skill perspective, right? But I'll just kind of put myself in the category of basketball, you know, trainers, I guess, for ease sakes. Um, but if we want to continue to train players and we want them to continue to improve their game, like the biggest thing is availability, right? Not just for the players, but for ourselves as well. Like you said, if you're at a desk all day, right? Or if you're seated all day, or if you're driving all day, or even if you're just standing all day at a standing desk, but you don't really realize that like your static posture, I think everyone is pretty familiar with the word posture, but like if your static posture, you know, is kind of like in a uh, compromised position, it just isn't optimal, then, you know, ultimately like you're going to have some wear and tear. So when we start talking about longevity, like and availability like you might not be available for the long term to actually you know go into sessions um and and be as active as you would like I know maybe every coach has a different style but for me personally like I got to be able to like feel like I can move with my players I obviously don't you know expect to jump as high or to run as fast as some of them um but I want to be able to like demonstrate the movement and you know if someone was to call me out you know from a joking perspective of oh yeah like you know, can you do this? Or like, is this, is you say it's easy, but it, it doesn't look very easy. Like I want to be able to be in, in the physical state to where like, yeah, I can get down in that position. I can get into that squat and I don't experience any pain or, you know, I'm not going to wake up sore the next day because I was demonstrating a couple movements, you know, for my athletes. And so, yeah, I, I would say from a basketball coach's perspective, you know, you gotta, you gotta make sure you're available too. And you gotta respect, you know, your own longevity so that you can continue to thrive and continue to teach uh, uh, players. But also hopefully if you grow a business one day, you want to show those coaches as well. You don't want to just tell them you want to, you want to show them, you want to actually put them physically through it. So that would be my two cents at least. 